It's now time to take up all your mutual fund queries. We've got with us Hemant Rustagi, CEO of Wise Invest Advisors, who will help us with your queries. Thanks, Hemant, for joining us this morning. Uh, first up, we've got an email from Jepal Kohli, who writes in from Bangalore. Jepal's 24 years of age, and he wants to invest in the L&T Infra Fund. He's looking at a time horizon of six years. Uh, Hemant, uh, his question is, is this a good pick? Of course, we don't really know what his whole portfolio looks like, but he's very specifically asking us about the L&T Infra Fund. Uh, would you sort of advise him to go ahead and do it? He's 20 years and he's looking at a six-year time horizon. Well, I would say that, uh, you know, infrastructure as a sector has a lot of potential to, in, you know, perform in the long run. But the fact is, when you look at basically infrastructure uh, funds, as far as the mutual funds are concerned, you know, they have a slightly different uh, uh, definition. They are basically, you know, treated as a them thematic fund. And, uh, you know, the problem with the thematic fund is that, uh, you know, they can be erratic in performance. For example, what we've been seeing in the last couple of years that these infrastructure funds have hugely underperformed a well diversified fund. So I would say that, you know, only those investors who already have an existing well diversified portfolio should be looking at thematic fund. The reason being that they can be erratic, they can be, you know, very volatile. And uh, obviously uh, one has to look at from the long-term point of view. So the thing is that if this is going to be the, the first investment or there are not many other investments in the portfolio, I would not recommend going with the you know, infrastructure fund. The best thing is to go for diversified fund. But if he wants to look at infrastructure fund, pr provided that he already has a portfolio, there are a couple of other funds that he can also check out, which is Can Rebecco, uh, uh, you know, infrastructure fund and also DSP Tiger fund. One of those funds he can look at instead of LNT infrastructure fund. Right, next up we have another email and this comes in from Lavanya. She's 25 years of age and she writes in from Chennai. Uh, she currently uh, invests in a couple of funds. So Billa Sun Life is where she does a 3,000 rupee SIP every year and HTC Top 200 is about 3,000 rupees per month as well. She says apart from these investments, should, be, should she see, be looking at any more funds and she's looking at about 5,000 rupees of additional investments per month. Hey Mantha, should she sort of increase... Uh, the investments in the existing holdings or should she look at any other funds now? No, so I mean, I think the key factor here is the time horizon. The time horizon is only two years. You know, when you're investing, uh, especially when you're making a fresh investment for a time horizon of two years, you know, you need to focus on those uh, investment options where, you know, the capital protection is given the priority and also looking at those options where you can get, you know, healthier return, more tax efficient return compared to uh, traditional options typically that you have bonds or fixed deposits. Uh, for a two-year time horizon, there are two options that I think Lavanya has. One is that if no risk has to be taken, then it could be a short-term debt fund. Uh, you know, the fund that can be considered is Birla Sun Life Dynamic Bond Fund. And the other option could be, uh, you know, a debt-oriented hybrid fund. But typically, we have these monthly income plans. They invest around 75 to 80 percent in debt and the remaining money is invested in equities. Uh, what happens is because there is an equity uh, exposure here, Obviously, they tend to be volatile at times, but because the money is to be invested on a, you know, consistently through SIP, uh, the risk can be you know, mitigated to a large, large, large extent. So if, like I said, the option is either a short-term debt fund or a debt-oriented hybrid fund, or it could be a mix of these two. Definitely not equity funds. The existing investment where the money is being invested, because you know, uh, I think he's investing for the last couple of years, that can be continued for next two years, but not the fresh investment. Right. Uh, next up, we have with us M. Karthik, who calls in from Bangalore. Hi, Karthik. What's your question? Uh, madam, I think I have uh, explained the question to your team. You have, now. My yeah. My question is pretty long. We'll just, I think that will eat away a lot of time. Yeah, we'll just get, take that through with Hemant. Hemant Karthik has provided us with the following details. He's invested about 3,000 in HDSC Equity, 3,000 in ICSC Appro, 2,000 in DSP BlackRock Small and Mid-Cap, and he's looking to do an additional investment of 2,000 rupees uh, in an infrastructure fund. He's also got ICSA approved discovery, IDFC small and mid cap, and Reliance small cap. Uh, should he continue to hold or redeem the funds that he's holding? You know, when I look at his portfolio, uh, uh, Karthik, uh, you have too many f uh, funds in mid cap and small cap, cap category. Yes, it's true that you must have a good quality mid cap fund, especially when investing for the long term, because you know this segment has the potential to do better than uh, you know large cap. But the thing is, that it also happens to be an aggressive segment, which means that they can be more volatile. So you can have one or two mid-cap funds in the long-term portfolio, but having too many mid-cap funds, I think, takes you beyond your risk-taking capacity. So my, my advice to you would be to realign your portfolio 
look at one or two uh, well diversified funds like you have HDFC equity fund and ICSA focused blue chip which is a pure large cap fund. I think realign your existing portfolio and considering that even if you retain one or two uh, you know mid cap and small cap funds in your portfolio, infrastructure as we discussed earlier in the show again being thematic fund can be quite erratic and quite aggressive. So, so my you know advice to you would be that stick with one or two mid cap funds and the rest should be diversified fund, a, a multi cap fund and a large cap fund. I think that will give you the good combination uh, for a long term portfolio. Right. Uh, thanks, Atan Hemant, for joining us today on the show. That was, of course, uh, Hemant helping our viewers with their mutual fund queries. That's all.